I'm out in the shop today, and in today's video, I want to talk about setting your steps per inch and also setting uh, backlash compensation if you have any backlash in your machine. Now, you can get very detailed in adjusting your gibs and taking out as much backlash as you possibly can in all the mechanisms that are involved. Um, you can have backlash in your bearings. You can have backlash in your ball nuts. And uh, all of these things you need to take into consideration and you can tweak each one of these. Um, I'm not gonna go into adjusting your gibs, but I do want you to know that there's a really good video a couple of good videos by a gentleman on YouTube and I highly recommend you go watch it his YouTube username is jumps 42009 and the title of the video is backlash and gib adjustment he does a really good job of explaining all the different aspects of a, the adjustment how to adjust it and also why backlash is occurring in the first place and I, I highly recommend you watch that video I haven't really fine-tuned my adjustments um, I just did the initial assembly and then kind of um, got everything working and I did that for a couple reasons I want to just see what initially just what a, my initial backlash is going to be uh, just from kind of putting everything together and not really tweaking anything and so today we're going to set our steps per inch and we're going to start with our x-axis here there's a couple of different ways you can set up your steps per inch and so let's take a look at those first we want to go to config motor tuning now I have my setup steps per inch for 4064 now I'm using 2005 ball screws so they're 5 millimeter pitch which is 5.08 terms per inch so I multiply 5.08 times the number of steps uh, these are three phase stepper motors but the drivers regulate them or step them at 200 steps per inch so you multiply 5.08 by 200 steps and you get 1016 steps per inch and I have my driver set up on 800 steps instead of 200 so that's four times so we multiply 1016 times 4 and we get 4064 so that's initially how you can mathematically figure out what your steps are going to be. So we're going to save that and then click OK. I'm going to power this up. It's going to be a little loud with that fan. Okay, and then what you want to do, this is, all we're doing here is checking our steps per inch to make sure it's accurate. So I want to make sure that I jog away. jog away and then I want to jog back in because that's the direction that we're going to be moving in and I want to get it on zero okay this is not the most accurate but it goes down to a thousandths of an inch so we should be okay alright so I have that set on zero we are going in this direction which is a negative direction I'm going to zero my DRO for the X and then I'm going to go down to the MDI and type in X minus 1.0 and hit enter and then it should move one inch and it looks like it moved 
1.999 so not quite one inch right so 0.999 so I want to go back to zero so type in X zero we'll go back and it's 0.999 as well so let me back it off again back back into it we're back on zero our DRO says zero and now I want to change this see if we can increase that so I want to go to mortar tuning and I want to change the steps per inch to 4067 want to save it click OK all right we're back on zero we need to check our DRO make sure it is zero okay and our dial indicator is on zero I'm gonna type in X minus 1.0 again it looks like we moved dead on one inch okay now go go back to zero again and then get back on zero in the negative direction there we go our DRO our DRO is zero I'm going to type in X minus 1.0 well, I'm not where am I? okay X minus 1.0 okay double check it one more time make sure it moves one inch all right moved one inch uh, as close as I can get looks pretty good right there okay so now that we've had our set uh, steps per inch set and they're set at 4067 on the x-axis that's one way to do it another way to do it we go back to zero get back on zero again in the negative direction okay now for demonstration purposes I'm going to show you this so let's put our configuration and go to motor tuning alright so we let me set this back to we know that this is going to be 67 but I'm going to set it back to 64 save it and notice how our DRO changes so you got to re-zero that okay and we're on zero there and then we want to go to settings and right here above the reset but it says axis calibration so we can select that it's on X axis so hit OK and it says how far would you like to move well we want to move minus 1.0 and then I'm going to click OK and it should move one inch and because it's set on 4064 it only moved 0.999 so it asked you how far did it move 0.999 click OK and it's going to say that do you want to set it it will set it to 4,068 point a bunch of different numbers there so we'll hit yes and now it has changed that number to 4,068 so let's see how that is so let's X zero all right so we've got it all right let's make sure we're going back in the negative direction make sure it's on zero uh, not quite 
All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to zero out my DRO. Okay. And then now I'm going to tell it X minus 1.0 again. And it moved exactly one inch. So I came up with 4067 when I did it manually and they came up with 468 and a bunch of small numbers so um, like a millionth of an inch they came up with but it looks like theirs is good so we're gonna leave it at 468 that's two different ways one kind of gets you in the ballpark and then you can use theirs to kind of calibrate it now We've moved in a negative direction, started out in a neg negative direction, and moved in a negative direction. So now I know that my steps per inch are precise on my x-axis. And now we want to check backlash. So backlash is going to occur when we try to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to try to go to x0. And let's see exactly where we're at. It looks like it went not quite an inch. It's about a thousandths off. So it looks like we have about a thousandths backlash because the DRO says zero, but the dial indicator says 0.999. So what I want to do is I want to go into Mach 3, Config, go to Backlash, and then on the X, I want to type in 0 .001, click OK, and then it, as soon as I did that, it moved the axis, and now you can see the axis is on 0, and also my DROs on zero. So now let's check it. I'm going to type in X minus one. And we're on zero. And then X zero. And we're dead on zero. Now that little hesitation at the beginning, that's Mach 3 doing the backlash compensation. And that's normal. And I'm not sure if you'll notice that necessarily when the machine's running, but when we're jogging it, uh, we, we do notice that. Now I'm going to step. And it moved the thousandths. Two, three, four, five. And it's pretty close, pretty close. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're pretty dead on ten thousandths. So, that's how you go about setting up your steps per inch and also check your backlash and set up your backlash compensation. Now, you just need to do the same thing for your Y and your X axis and you should be making parts. Now this dial indicator only gets me down to a thousandths of an inch. Um, however, it does seem to be fairly accurate. Let me see if I can show you this. X3. And then X zero again. Looks pretty good. And if we just jog randomly jog off of X. Alright. And then go back to X zero.
and it puts it back on zero. So I'm pretty confident that we've got X set up really well. Now we need to just go and repeat those same steps on the Y and the Z axis and we should be making parts. So if you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, this is just one way to do it. Um, it works for me and it's pretty simple and straightforward. Thanks for watching the videos. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly, be safe.